welcome to the lesson on algebraic fractions. Um, so this is just going to be a lesson on uh, simple basics of the fractions. So uh, let's let's just do addition first. So addition. So addition equals uh, let's just say a over b plus c over d. All we need to do uh, the rule for this is um, the cross multiplication rule. So a AD plus BC over BD. Okay, so that's B times by C, A times by D, and BD. Uh, subtraction. Subtraction. Uh, sorry for my writing, but that says subtraction. So A over B minus C over D equals pretty much the same. So AD minus BC over BD and a multiplication uh, very easy multiplication is just simply um, A over B as I see over D all you need to do is AC and BD that's just simply timesing A by C and B times D and um, division uh, pretty similar in a way, so if we have a over b divided by c over d, uh, we get a over d and b over c. Why? Because we flip the equation, so a over b times we uh, flip and multiply, so d over c, and when we multiply that, it comes into a d b c, which is that. Okay, so now now we've gone through the rules. Uh, you can pause the video here and just take a look at these rules. Um, you should learn these rules basically, they'll help you answer almost every question. So let me just start uh, another one here. Um, there we go. Uh, so okay, let's just go through uh, a couple of questions so we get the hang of this. Uh, let's say we have 1 over x uh, plus x over 2y okay so what was our uh, rule for this we had to cross multiply the denominators and times these so if we were to do that we'd get uh, this, let me just use brackets for this uh, 1 which is there times by 2y bracket plus x times by x Okay, so we've done that by that and that by that. Uh, underneath, we got x times by 2y. Let's bracket this all so we can understand. So that's all we've done so far. Now, if we just times this all together out now, so we get, we can do it here. Uh, sorry, 1 times by 2y equals 2y, plus x times by x equals x squared, uh, all of uh, 2 x times 2y equals 2xy and that has been simplified uh, with that simple rule we did so that's number one addition let's go on to uh, another question <clears throat> so let's, let's do the uh, subtraction one now so let's say we got 2 over b and we have minus a over 2b okay so what we need to do is exactly the same as the addition rule. We just times them together. So for the benefit of this video, let's use the brackets again. 2 times by 2b. Or, sorry, 2b. And um, so minus the minus here, sorry. Uh, b times by a. So b times by a. All over b times by 2b and then we just need to times it out here so 2 times by 2b equals 4b minus b times by a equal well it should have been a times by b but let's just do that a b could be b a anyway and um, so 2b times by b equals 2b squared and that has been simplified by the subtraction okay uh, if we move on uh, what else could we do? We could do the multiplication example. Let's change pen again. 
Uh, multiplication is very easy. Let's just say we have x over 3 <coughs> uh, times by x plus 2 and x minus 2. So multiplication, remember the rule was this, to straight multiply. So for this video, let's just do the brackets. We've got x times by x plus 2 and we have 3 times by x minus 2. So now just simple multiplication. So x times by x, you know, just expanding the brackets, do this. Uh, let me just use another color for that, do we this? So we want to times the x by the first one and then x by the second one. Same here. Okay, so x times by x equals x squared uh, plus 2x, x times by 2 equals 2x. If we do this all over, uh, 3 times by x equals 3x, and we have 3 times by minus 2, so we get minus 6, and that's multiplication. Um, so division, let's do a quick division one as well, might as well now. So x over 3 divided by 2x over 7. Okay, let's firstly let's just flip this around. So x over 3 times by 7 over 2x. Now it's simple multiplication again, and we do this one quickly. x times by 7 equals 7x, and 3 times by 2 equals 6x. And we could um we could have done some uh, cancelling out here. We could have cancelled the x with that. And it could have been 7 over 6, we could do that as 7 over 6. Anyway, so those are the four main rules we've uh, established, and we've also done an example. Um, hopefully that should uh, make make sense to you guys now. Um, there will be a, uh, an exam question on uh, algebraic fractions later. But if you want, you can uh, go over this lesson again. And if you did not understand it, you could post in the comments, and I'll work on this again. But apart from that, I think that's about it.